This video was for the big homie Jaren47. And the gun store he went to is Local Academy, where they sell ammo and guns. Um, and this message is also for, this is actually a message to all of y'all legal gun owners. There is no ammunition shortage. I don't care how you look at it. There is no ammunition shortage. Military get their guns, parts, and they get their ammunition from distributors. Um, um, think about this, people. They told us when the pandemic hit that there was no more ammo. No more ammo. Keep in mind, felons cannot buy guns because they got to register them. But you can go in a gun store and buy ammo with no registration. If they really wanted to stop crime, why don't you have to at least sign some kind of paper to get a background check to get ammunition? Why don't you do a background check to get ammunition? If they really wanted to stop crime, well, we have background checks. No, that's only for guns. Criminals already got guns. They don't need y'all guns. All they need is the bullets. So how hard were they trying to fight crime? They weren't. All they had to do was run background checks to buy ammunition. Well, I think he need to shut up. He need to know. I'm just keeping it real. If y'all want to stop crime, run background checks to buy ammunition. And on that note, there is no ammunition shortage. See, gun stores work with them. Y'all don't know that. They work with the system. Oh, they're going to take y'all money. Well, how you figure that? Well, they sold you. Look, they got to make their money. They'll sell you a gun all day long if you're legal. But we don't got no ammunition. They know you're going to want the gun. The magazine, the multiple magazines it comes with. You got to go online to get your ammo that we don't have none. Why would a gun store be open selling guns if you ain't got the ammunition to sell to go with that gun? That make any sense to y'all? Why are you selling a gun and you can't even sell your customer the ammunition? Because they're going to get their money no matter what. It's all a game. It's all a game. TNT said we buying up all this ammunition so they can take it from us. They can take whatever they want at any given time. Oh, we all know that. But y'all think about what I said. They have no ammunition, but they got guns still on the shelf. Let's just say everybody was able to pass the background check. But there's no ammunition to purchase. Oh, there is. You ain't getting it. I ain't getting it. Them gun stores, oh, they got ammunition on deck. You as a gun store, you love your customers like you say you do. Why don't you shut your store down completely? Shut it down. Don't sell no more guns. Because now you dogging out the people. He done bought this 45 he done bought this 9mm, he done bought this 5.56, five, and, and, and he can't even use it at the shooting range because there's no ammo. Well, you can go online. Well, I think I should go online and buy a gun from now on and get it shipped to my store with the bullets instead of going to your store knowing you got ammunition and you ain't trying to come up off of that ammo, but y'all selling them guns so y'all can stay afloat. It's a crime. That is a crime itself. Stop it. My voice, I'm just one. Probably many out there that know this. But my voice ain't gonna be heard. Not to them. You'll hear it. But it blows over the radar. So you all know. Don't think that when you're doing these things and you're speaking loudly and you're speaking loudly, your voice needs to be heard. Oh, they've been heard you before you even did it. 
the ones that caused the pandemic, that made all of this happen, to generate money and do all of this riffraff, they already heard that. They created that. So why didn't they hear your voice? They knew you was going to get up. Maybe not you personally, but they knew there was going to be people up preaching and speaking and writing and doing all of this stupid stuff. Holding up signs, stop this, violence, we don't, man, they don't care. Y'all just played the game. Whatever ammunition y'all got, hold on to it. Much as I love to go to the range, I'm going to hold on to mine. People say, I got range ammo. I need hollow points. <laughs> you want me to be technical? Hollow points is range bullets as far as I'm concerned. But not on their range. Oh, we know what hollow points do opposed to full metal jackets. We do know that. But all bullets penetrate flesh. Flesh is not bulletproof. You find some skin that's bulletproof, you let me know. Oh, it's some out there, but you won't get that skin. I'll leave that one alone, too. But anyway, I'll let your boy stop buying guns, y'all. Whatever guns you own, keep them. That's that. Don't waste your ammo. Don't waste your ammo. Keep the guns you got. All right, keep the guns you got. But if you want to go out and play with your toys, go ahead, because... If all hell broke loose, you ain't gonna kill 50 people anyway. You might not even kill one. So play with your ammo. Keep you some on the side for that home invasion. To your electric. Keep some on the side for that home invasion. But if you want to play with your toy, go ahead and play with your toy. You earn that right. You earn that. You earn that right being an American. Not being a law-abiding citizen, you earn that right being an American. Right to bear arms. Then they throw in all of the sneaky stuff, so y'all just be like, what the hell? Hey, y'all, wake up, man. They got ammo. <laughs> you ain't getting it. Salute.